Hi, kindergartners. Happy day today. I hope you're having a good one so far. I am super excited for today because it's going to be super quick. We're going to get a lot of learning in and we're even going to learn some new stuff. We have a new word family we're going to be learning about. So let's just hop right in and get started. Like always, we need our three things, a writing utensil, something to write on, and our big, strong brain. Before we even get started, let's kiss our brain to remind it how amazing it is. Ready? Oh. It's ready to learn. First, we're going to be doing some sounds. So we're going to read these sounds just like we've been doing. I say the sound, you repeat the sound while you're looking at the letter. Remember, if you're not looking at the letter, your brain won't connect the letter with the sound. So make sure you're watching the letter, not me. I'll say the sound, you repeat the sound while you look at the letter. Let's go ahead and get started. T. W. Z. J. Z. B, D, X, M, S, P, H, Y, Awesome job. And now we're going to be spelling some of those sounds. So grab your pencil, grab your marker, grab your paper or your write or your dry erase board, and let's go ahead and get started. Remember, I'll say the sound, you repeat the sound, and then we're going to be writing the sound together. Be sure you're trying to best your best to make these letters look just like mine. The first letter sound you're going to be writing is mmm. Mmm. Next is going to be V. Next is R. 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 Looks amazing so far. Your next letter is D. Watch me draw first, and then I want you to try. So a D is a doorknob and then a door. Notice how I did not pick up my pencil. I made my doorknob first, and then I went up to make my nice tall door. D. D. All right, I want you to go ahead and try. Incredible work. Next, I want you to try to draw the p sound. P. 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 Double check that your P goes all the way below that bottom line. Great. Next is Go ahead and try B. Remember, it's the bat first and then the ball. B. 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 
Next is G. Make sure your G goes all the way below the bottom line. G. 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 Next is Alrighty, and the next letter I want you to try writing is the letter C. Remember, it makes a k sound. K. 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 And then I want you to make the other letter that makes the k sound, which is a K. Make sure you make your nice tall line and then go in and out, but make sure the second part of your K stays underneath that middle line. Awesome job, and when you're all done, I want you to kiss your brain again to show it that you appreciate all of its hard work. Ready? Oh, amazing, my brain is growing so much. Now, boys and girls, we're going to be reading aloud some words. We are going to be touch spelling really quickly and then reading these words as fast as we can. So I want you to try your best to stay along with me. Ready? L-A-D, lad, ad, fad. L app lap k app cap s ad sad t app tap <sighs> ad had n app nap do you hear the train <laughs> g app gap b ad Bad. <sighs> ah, mm, ham. R, ah, mm, ram. K, ah, mm, cam. J, ah, mm, jam. Ah, mm, am. P, ah, the pad. M, app, map. Z, app, zap. Add, add, m, add, mad. Great work. And for these next few, we're just going to read the sight word and then sound out the word to say the phrase all together. So just like we've been doing, we'll say a, r, at, rat, a, rat. Good job. A, s, add, sad, l, add, lad, a, sad, lad. The r ag rag, the rag. Good job. A g app gap, a gap. The j a m jam, the jam. The b a d bad, m a n. Man, the bad man. Great, look at you go. You're already reading some of those shorter sentences by sounding out those words. You are a rock star. Next, we're going to be spelling words using our writing utensil and either a piece of paper or our whiteboard. So go ahead and grab those things out. And remember, we are going to be touch spelling with the, with the hand that we're not writing with. So go ahead and give that a quick shake to get it all warmed up. Alrighty, and I am ready when you are. The first word we are going to try writing is nag. So use your touch spelling word to sound out that word nag. Ready? N-a-g. Nag.
Great word. The next one is tricky because it's a sight word. I want you to try your best to spell the word the. The. Awesome. Now I want you to spell the word tap. T. A. P. Tap. And now let's try the word hat. A. Next, let's try fan. A. Ah. Mm. Fan. The next one is another sight word. Try your best to spell A. A. Now let's try to spell bad. B. A. D. Bad. Now you have just one last one. Nab. Mm. Ab. Nab. Incredible work. And now, friends, we're Even. going to do something more special. We are going to be writing those two word phrases that we were just reading. So I'll say a sight word and then I'll say a word. I'll say them really slowly so that you have time to spell them out, but I need you to write both words. So I'll say the phrase and I'll say each word and then we'll read the phrase together. The first phrase I want you to try and write is the cat. So repeat it after me, ready? The cat. Awesome, now try your best to write the cat. Now let's read it together. The cat. Good job. The last one we're going to do is a bag. Remember, repeat it after me. A bag. Go ahead and try to write a bag. Let's read it together. A bag. Incredible work, friends. I'm so proud of you. You should be proud of yourself too. hard work and you are really hanging in there. And I can tell you're really trying your best. Now is my favorite part. We're going to be introducing some new material. How this is going to work is I'm going to show you the next two sounds. We're going to first touch spell them together to sound them out. And then we're going to use our two writing fingers to write those letters, underline them as we read them. So first we're going to touch spell using our not writing hand. And then we're going to be, excuse me, writing them with our writing hand and underlining to sound them out. So get out your touch spell hand. Let's go ahead and try this word. Ready? It. It. Very good, easy peasy. We're learning all about the it word family today. Can you think of a word that rhymes with it? Whisper it to me, how many can you get?
Good job. There's quite a few words. Let's see if those are in our word family words. So now, friends, I want you to take out your writing hand and get out your two writing fingers. And we're going to trace the I and the T and then underline it to say that word. Ready? It. It. Good job. Let's try these next few. It. Sit. Good. You can be doing this either in the air like me, on your lap, or on the table you're sitting at. L -i -t lit. P -i -t pit. B -i -t bit. Rock star. It fit. It hit. Great job. And now all we have to do is touch spell these words. So put away your any hand. Oh, mine was getting a little tired anyway. Get out your touch spell hand. Ready? It sit. It fit. B it bit. P it pit. H it hit. L it lit. Now you tried these last two all by yourself. Ready? Awesome, you got it, great work. So now friends, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to just spell a couple of these words. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab out my writing utensil again and get my paper ready to write on. I'm going to say the word, you repeat the word, you're going to touch spell the word while you write it on your piece of paper. Ready? Alrighty friends, your first word is going to be it. So remember to touch spell while you write. It. Next, I want you to write hit. It. Hit. And now let's try sit. It. Almost finished. The next one is fit. It fit. Two more. Lit. It lit and the last one is going to be pit. P it pit. Amazing job. And the very last thing we're going to do, friends, is go back to read all of the words that we just wrote. So I'm going to circle the word as we're reading it. And I just want you to read it. You don't have to circle on your paper. I just want you to read along with me. Ready? It. Hit. Sit. Fit. Lit. 
pit. Amazing job today, friends. Double high five to you. Ready? Keep up the awesome work the rest of the day. I can tell you are really trying your best and really working hard on all of these letters. Oh, you're going to be so ready for first grade, but only if you keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. You got it. Have a great day.